Hi, I'm Jordan. I'm Lewis. Hi, I'm Leo. And, and this, this is Faye. Faye. Join the Bye family as we up sticks and reroute from the hustle and bustle of the UK to a more simplistic life in Bulgaria. Watch as we learn, grow, fail, succeed, and everything in between. From Bournemouth to Bulgaria. What are you doing? Building the sound pit for the baby. Why are you so excited about it? We've been saying I'm going to do it for six months. <laughs> What's the plan? Fill up the wheelbarrow with sand and put it in the sand. I'm trying to prompt questions from you because you don't like to talk to the camera, so I'm trying to get you to talk to me. There's not much I can say about a sand pit. What, what, lots you can say about this lovely sand pit you're building. What would you say? So today we're building the sand pit for the children because... That's what, that's what I basically said that. See how difficult it is? This is why, guys, this is why I can't get her on camera as much as me because she just don't want to be on there with, and she doesn't want to show her beautiful face to you all. Do you, my love? Look at that beautiful face. Let's go. That's half full. I don't know. No. Uh, I don't know. I think you need another bucket. You've got to fill the other side up. You don't want it too deep because you'll drown. What? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of the sand pit, guys? Good. Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah, Faye, you having a good time there, mate? Yeah? That looks good. Yeah, please don't eat the sand. That's quite gross. Faye, stop it. I'm taking a little stroll down at our house, just by myself, clearing the head, clearing the mind. And uh, there's something I wanted to show you. So you know, we pipe on about the river that we've got that runs around here between autumn, um, winter and spring. This is obviously our very first time seeing the river. So it's been quite nice. It's been quite a, ma a magical moment, I would say. A magical moment. <laughs> you fancy it's been nice it's been nice to to see this come to fruition and to see the the river in all its glory but i feel like it's fully in it's in full flow now and one thing we had no idea that was here is the little mini waterfall which i think is so cool and you can hear it trickling like i say from the top of our hill and uh and i finally found it we came out as a family we found it the other day but we didn't video that uh, but I thought I'm, I'm having a little stroll and a little walk right now and I, I just wanted to show you guys it. So I'm going to take you just around the corner now. And this is literally maybe 100 metres up from our house. You come down the hill and then turn back towards the house, about 100 metres walking. So we just turn around here. Oh. How cool is that? That's pretty cool. How beautiful is that? So obviously over the years and years and years created a cut through through here. And uh, it's really clear, really clear water. It's really nice. Yeah, it's pretty. So we've done a bit of bartering. We've got a tractor coming in to our garden today to turn over our soil our neighbor came over to us yesterday our neighbor's son came over to us and he said do you mind if i bring the tractor through your garden to get to my mum's house to turn the soil over for preparing for for next year's crops I said no problem but i thought well if he's coming through he may as well do ours as well because we've done nothing 
we've not had the time to so I've uh, I've asked if he can turn our garden over as well today so he should be here shortly I think he's actually just started doing next doors as well so he'll be here in a minute to do ours I expect <laughs> he's here YouTube. YouTube, YouTube, da, YouTube. da. Dinislav, da. YouTube, da. <laughs> this is Dobermir. Yeah. He lives over there. Yeah. That's Danka. That's her son. Yummy mud. No, no more mud. Stop eating the mud. If you're enjoying what we're doing, enjoying watching what we're doing, and you're following the journey, it goes a long, long way to get a like and a subscribe for the channel. Uh, please don't forget. And again, also you can set your notifications uh, with the little bell icon, and then you'll get an update whenever we post a video. That's it. Our garden is turned over. It's such huge clumps of clay-like mud. I'm guessing that's really why it has to be turned over because things just aren't going to grow through that type of dirt. But it's huge. <laughs> it's massive what they've done. <laughs> I wasn't expecting them to do it quite as big, I'm not going to lie to you, but they have, so it is what it is. <laughs> just <laughs> accept it. I'm just glad they've done it. So you can see, look, the patch that they've done for us. I'm dead chuffed with that. So we're going to have the chickens there next to the dogs. Chickens will go there and we'll grow all our veg and what not here we've got a uh, a lot of work to do for the coming spring but yeah dead happy with that look at it all it's crazy i don't even know what you do at this point like, what's it going to do is it just going to settle back down that's my assumption anyway <laughs> i'm assuming it just settles <laughs> like the rains come and things start to go down and the key thing was to just turn it over and, and loosen it up so that things grow and spread and and nutrition and, and all that malarkey um really should do a little bit more research into it i haven't yet but we will but it's done and it had to be done and december seems to be the time of year when they do these things so for whatever reason i asked if it's if, if do they do it this time because it's the best time to do it and i said yes so this is when they're doing it what would you say thanks for all that you've done for us and we'll keep us some videos for you Nice. So if you join our Patreon, you'll get the videos way earlier. You can see behind the scenes, like when we're getting everything ready, which no cameras, we just use Stella's phone. If you want to join our Patreon, the link is in the description below. So what are you waiting for? Come and join! Love it. Well done. Show everyone your stone throwing skills. <laughs> So me and Jordan have decided that we no longer want the cabinet that I took apart to bring up here anymore. It lasted approximately, how long did it last? Months. How months. long? Months. We've been in, it's been like in two Leo's, months. It's been in Leo's room for ages as his wardrobe slash toy cabinet. All right. Just, okay. So you've okay. got to go back down to where it was. <laughs> Literally. Literally, so we're going to take this cabinet that I worked very hard on Maybe I should bring like a little clip up here. Oh, uh, watch this. Jordan's got me doing other things. Yet again, sidetracked. No, it's for the kids. I was there trying to make a bathroom happen with some tiles, and here I am fiddling with a wardrobe. Did you do a video of it? I did. Huh? I videoed some of it. Oh, right. Come this way. Yeah, basically, we've got to take it back down to the same place it came from. Love you so much. It's heavy as well. 
So I thought I'd, uh, well, thought it'd be a good idea to maybe video the process. Because one thing me and Jordan are great at is moving things together. We're, we're like a super solid team. <laughs> I reckon spin it out this way, slide it down. Hopefully we don't break too much of the stairs. But I the Would it not be better yeah, to you stand there? Do you know how heavy that is? You can't drop that off onto me. No, well, I'm not going to drop it. I'm just lower well, it's it. not going to just lower. It's easier to just go down the stairs. It will slide down. You want to drop it off of the, the edge of the patio, which is like what? A metre and a half high? Onto me. No, I, it's not. I this is easier. Start turning it out and slide it down the stairs. What are you trying to kill me for? Good Wait. luck. Wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. All right, mate. Yeah, you good? Yeah, I reckon if we just slide it down, it should be good. I think this is not too bad, you know. Let's go for it. I think it's easier going down than it is up. Yeah. What's wrong with you? Are you going to do anything? I am. you just like, are you actually doing anything? Yes, I'm guiding. What are you doing? I'm guiding it. <laughs> there you go, look. Oh. So, today's job is to try and clear up the area sitting in front of what is currently the cellar, cellar door. You guys have seen it plenty before. It's going to need a lot of hoeing and shoveling and it's basically just debris and rubble that's needed to be cleaned up for a very long time and we just haven't really got around to it with all the other stuff but it's time to try and pretty the front of the house up a little bit more not a very nice day i'm honest it's a cloudy day it's about one degrees it's not that how did it go from 21 degrees to one degrees ridiculous it's stupid uh but it, it's gone cold again so it's uh yeah i'll show you the area so you can see all of this area full of rubble full of hanging wires that need cutting off because they look awful um, some weeds that need pulling out of the wall and some glass that needs moving and just labour stuff. Labour, labour, labour. Look at that, hey? It's starting to look real good. All of that there, this area is quite solid. Solid hard floor, so sort of follow that, chisel away at that and should have a nice, clear, solid area by the end of it. Walk with me. Talk with me. I'm talking to people. Oh, I just tread on something sharp while I was videoing. Gone straight through my slider. That's because you're not helping your wife. I'm trying to talk to everybody about PayPal. Karma. Ah. I just like the other day. Do you get goosebumps on your arm when something hurts you? No. Oh, just me. <laughs> <laughs> Do a PayPal video. Oh, sorry. Oh, <laughs> what was I saying? <laughs> you can't swear. Stop swearing. So it turns out that YouTube on Superfanks take a 30% cut, which we weren't really aware of. Whenever you guys donate your Superfanks, they get 30% and we get 70%, which to be honest, I think that's a little bit hefty considering it's a donation. So we've alternatively put up a PayPal link for you guys to click. Now it's always going to be down in the description for you guys to click on. For those of you that do want to donate to the channel and do want to donate to our cause and to helping us succeed here, it's an option for us where we receive 100% of the money and we're able to receive it much faster than what YouTube allows us to. Regardless, thank you for all your donations so far through super thanks and we will still be accepting super thanks so please don't feel discouraged that you can't use it at all but if you're wanting us to get 100 percent of the money then go into our paypal link is going to be your best option for that and we will still do what we always do how we thank everybody uh for for the donations we're still going to have a little list come up on the video like this one to say thank you for anyone who has donated through super thanks or through paypal and as always, you guys are making our lives so much easier here. 
with your donations, with your help. And we hope that we can continue to just keep bringing you great content, keep bringing you the stuff that you want to see and the things that you want to watch. And having you guys watch us is just fantastic. So thank you. <laughs> there we go. Just makes it look like someone loves the place a bit more, doesn't it? How much difference does that make? Wow. So much better without the hanging metal and the big pile of just rubble. Been waiting to get that done for a long time. So, we have some exciting news. We are now officially building the bathroom in our house. This for us is massive because we've had to continually go outside to the toilet in the middle of the night, have a shower in below freezing temperatures. It's not been ideal. Currently, like I say, as you all know, we've got a toilet and a shower in the annex, but obviously we don't live in there. We're in the house now. So, so with us in the house, obviously we're not warm in the annex. And that means basically it's freezing in there. We don't want to be cold when we're going to, for a shower. We don't want to be cold when we're going to the toilet. It's not the end of the world. You know, it's certainly something that you can do and you can get through. But it would be nice if you didn't have to leave the house to go to the toilet or to uh, have a shower or a bath. And we have ordered a bath. So we're going for the bath. We're going down the bath route because we love a good bath. Good for the muscles. We have ordered uh, a sink, which arrived today, which is down there. Um, currently, we are starting from nothing. So the room that we were using as a lounge, we have now vacated this <laughs> this room, moved, we're all in one room in the kitchen. So we've got a kitchen slash lounge, which is kind of like, kind of reminds me of an episode of Friends. You know that, the house in Friends? It kind of reminds me of that. But anyway, we're, all, we're in there. It's easy to keep warm. It's functional. It's big enough. So it's pretty good. We're quite happy with it. I'm going to take you through and show you what we're currently doing. So we're starting off with a partition wall and uh, and then all the other construction stuff will, will take place a little later on. So, let me just zoom out. So you can see here, partition wall has started. We're going to have a door over this side. The plan is we'll have a toilet here. A bath there. We're actually going to put the boiler in here too. Jordan hates the sight of the boilers. She hates them. So we come up with the conclusion that actually, you know, it wouldn't be a, the worst thing in the world to have like a cupboard system there. Well, we could put the boiler in there. We could put some towels in there and, uh, and all of this malarkey. And then the boiler's hidden. The only thing that I don't like about it is that if I need to do work to the boiler, I've got to make it big enough so that if I need to do work to the boiler, I can still get in there. So hopefully I can do that and it won't be too much of an issue. Really gonna have to make sure I allow myself enough space. Um, and then finally the sink will be over here. So toilet, bath, boiler, stud cupboard thing, sink. Now the idea with the sink is we're gonna have a nice big mirror in here eventually. It won't start off this way. We're going to go very basic just for cost purposes and just get a sink in. Um, and then we should have a fully functioning bathroom. And uh, we can have a bath while we one day enjoy the nice view. Well, it's still a beautiful view in it. But we've got this bush here. You see this bush? We want to get rid of it so that we can see everything. That's what we really want to do. But we'll be able to sit in here in the bath and look out the window and see that and... What's not to like, right? What are you on about? So you know that old Coca-Cola bottle, the glass one? Yeah. Yeah. You could build in like a little pendant light with like Coca-Cola bottles all hanging at different things and then have a little light in it. What, in his room? Yeah. Do you think that would be nice? Yeah. Well, how many Coca-Cola bottles you got? I'll get some more. That's what I think you should do. Right. You because know, I know you get bored. When you get bored. Get bored? Yeah, you get bored. If you ain't got stuff to do, you really have... Jordan, I've got about ten years worth of stuff to do at this place. Oh, don't exaggerate. What are you doing? What's it about? Oh. I... Do you want to hold this, actually, my love? 
I mean, of course. <laughs> so we're getting close to, well, we're starting to look like something now, isn't it? It is, isn't it? It's weird. Um, I don't actually know if I'm putting it anywhere near yeah, the right... There's, you know... What? Chop, chop, yeah? Mate, I've got a... I've got a baby in there, it's being unattended. Alright, can you push it that way a bit more? Bit more? Bit more? That's level. No, other way? Other way? Stop it! That way? Yes! There, hold it right there. Do not move. Oh, no. Do not... I don't say that because I can't don't do well under pressure. That, I see nothing from that scribe. That is exactly where it was. 100%? I did, I did. Just do it roughly. Do you know what I'm going to do, George? Wait, do, do you know what we're going to do, George? Just right? do it roughly, you know? Listen, don't tell me how to build. You don't know how to build. Don't... I don't build more than you know how to build. My eyes are better than yours when it comes to estimates. Right, that's our, that's our little stop look. That doesn't mean it's fixed in place, don't let go. Just gives us a little marker to know, you know, it looks a bit on the piss, doesn't it? Well, you told me where to put it. The craftsmanship is shoddy. Shoddy <laughs> right now, yeah. No, I All I will me. say though is that. That wasn't me. Looks supposed to be 90 centimetres across there. 90 centimetres? That's a bit big, isn't it? Let's just look a bit lower at the bottom, that's what's scaring me. Well, you think a ruler's like a small ruler, that's how I like to do it. Oh, Three, miles off. Six. I'm miles off. Oh, I don't know how to build. Caught us on camera. I've done something wrong here. What have we not compensated for? Should we turn the camera off? No, mate, this is real. This is real. This is real. Missed, I've missed a trick here. I need to chop 50, 50 centimetres off something. But do you know the worst part is? I don't have the, enough equipment. I don't have something to really just cut something inside. To take it out to the chop saw, so that really puts me in oh, a bit. Like if I had a little wooden chainsaw? Mm. Something like Maybe I should bring, just bring the chainsaw in there. No. Might just have to do that, you know, just for no, one part. No. I feel like with tools, it's just never ending. Like oh! Oh! Why did I do it like that? Right, I'm going. Alright, yeah, you go. Okay, well, I've made a mistake. I'm 50 mil down, it means I didn't compensate for a piece of wood. Silly, what? wasn't it? That was silly! We have Bancho here and uh, we have been digging the new canal um, and laying the new pipes for the toilet. We're going to be, hopefully, hopefully we'll be done soon. Um, we've got one more channel to dig and then uh, we'll be done. But there he is, living his best life. He probably doesn't want to be on YouTube, I don't know. But Bancho's here doing his bit. If you ever need someone to do, if you ever needed someone to do work, he's your man. Excavator, stones, gravel, the lot. So we're running these pipes down to join on to this new area here for uh, to run down to the septic tank. So we're not far from being done now, and uh, most of the work is is pretty much there. A little bit to go. But it's nice to get some toilet pipes into the house. Exciting stuff. So this is going to be our channel for the grey waste going off here. That's also going to act as a French drain to divert the water that comes down the hill. Um, this really needs this because the amount of water that runs down here is quite unbelievable, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> All we've got to do now is just join this pipe onto this one. And then we have a connection to the house, which is amazing because uh, we haven't been able to <laughs> go to the toilet in the warm for a long time. So it's going to be quite good. Uh, I'm excited about it. Oh yeah, last bit.
Okay guys, so now it's time to skip to the part of the video that I'm uh, actually quite gutted about. Unfortunately, the rest of the footage that showed the bathroom being completed and done has been lost and it is very frustrating that you didn't get to see all my struggles, my trials, my tribulations in building this bathroom. I want to I want to explain exactly what's happened. So during this time, I smashed my phone and I was no longer able to record. I then used Jordan's old phone to try and capture the rest and we tried to upload all of it to Dropbox and we thought that we had uploaded all of it for, for the future and then uh, space was made on the phone by deleting those videos because it was a lot of videos. Turns out none of it got uploaded to Dropbox and we lost all the footage. And I've been absolutely devastated about it, to be honest with you, because I really, really, I really wanted to show you the whole process and, and everything that happened and the things that went well and the things that didn't go well and all of that stuff. So, yeah, unfortunately, we didn't we weren't able to, to show you this stuff. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take you into the bathroom now that it's finished and I'm going to show you what we have done and how it's looking, which is always nice and where we're currently at because it's not completed. So it'll be good to show you where we're at and and it'll be good to show you the things that are are incomplete and what we still need to finish and I'll try and just discuss with you why we've made some of the decisions we have with the bathroom and why the layout is not the same as what I described it to be and we'll go from there. Okay let's go. So first and foremost let's admire Faye's artwork. Isn't it wonderful? We've got this lovely piece on the door We've also got this lovely piece down here, which we're marketing off at around about 500,000 levs. If anyone's interested, we'll unscrew that and we'll donate it to uh, to whoever's interested. Well, it's not donation, is it, if we're, if we're selling it? So, you know, give us some money. <laughs> um, okay, so you can see here that... You can see here we've got the partition wall up and, and we got it into a, a state where it's completely plasterboarded. And um, and yeah, I mean, it's not plastered yet, but there's still a long way to go with it. We'll get towards like the plasterboarding and stuff once we're ha finally happy with where things are and we're going to start tiling. And uh, and one thing that we did have to wait for was for the wood to dry out. So it, the frame definitely twisted because the wood that you're using is wet. And before anyone plasters, I would highly recommend that you just leave it to dry for a bit. So we've had this done for a good while now. And it's not plastered yet still. But, you know, the longer the wood's got to dry out, the less movement's going to happen. Because if it starts moving after you've plastered it, it's going to crack. And a lot of the wood here in Bulgaria is not dry. It's not finished. Uh, so that would be my recommendation. Let me take you into the bathroom now. <laughs> okay. Oh. Well, yeah, don't bang the door too much. So you can see the layout is not what we said it was going to be. I think originally we said like the bath was going to go along the back and then we would have the sink there and the toilet somewhere else, but I can't remember. But we had to change it. And the reason was this thing was much bigger than we thought it was going to be. We ordered a bath from Turkey and it turned out that it was absolutely massive and it just wasn't going to, it wasn't going to fit in the opposite way and allow us to have the bathroom how we wanted it. So what we decided to do, put the bath over here, build the frame for it. We're going to tile all around it, put some, um, put some wooden cladding along there so that we can still easily access underneath. Uh, we've still got to figure out what we're going to do with the tap because we're coming out of the wall at this 90 degree angle. And honestly, I'm not joking, not lying to you. When I had to bodge some pieces up for the tap here because we ran out of pieces and the bodge job is still leaking, uh, dripping a tiny amount, but it is going to cause a problem to the wood if I don't fix it soon. But I think we have a plan with this. So we've got the tap coming out of the wall this far to reach the bath, but I think we're just going to get a, a really long spout. And then the tap, this will be plasterboarded, tiled, and the tap will sit here still, hopefully, and it will still be long enough. We've got to measure it up and make sure that we're going to find one that's going to be long enough. Alternatively, the plan is to just bring bring it out a little bit more. So I'd put another bit of wood in here and just bring it out. And we wouldn't tile along that ridge at the bottom. But we really wanted to have tiles all the way around the bath. And, and that was kind of the, the plan behind it. So I've still, we've still got to figure that out. But, we, you know, we got the bath in. We got all the drainage in. Um, we got the water pipes in. 
built. Uh, I put this uh, massive hole in the wall. That was fun. I wish I, I wish we still had the video for that. Um, obviously, we've got the toilet and the sink in. And you know, we might not have uh, overall. It's looking. It's looking pretty good and. And it's functional and, you know, it's nice. It's really, really nice to have. The only thing I would say is it would have been nice to have the bath with the view, but instead now you've got a poo with a view. So <laughs> there is that as well. But, you know, we've got a little bit more plasterboarding to do, but the plan is to put some form of shelving in here instead of putting all this stuff up here because it's not a nice place for it. So we're going to have like a kind of a cubby hole in here, tiled, place for things to go in. That plug is not going to be a plug. We're actually going to turn it into a heater, put some sort of heater on the wall. I doubt we'll put air con because it's a, it's, an ex it's a big expense for a bathroom and you're not in here much. So just some sort of wall heater would be nice in the winter because it does get quite hot, quite, quite cold in here. But yeah, I mean, look, it's a bathroom. We've got a bath, we've got a sink, we've got a toilet. They all work. Everything's functional. And so much work went into getting this done and we did it over over quite a short period as well. I was really, really proud of, of just getting it to this stage. And there's, honestly, there's still so much more to do. And there's parts of it that are not quite finished, but hey, it's somewhere where we can come, we can get clean, we can go to the toilet, and we don't have to go down to the annex to do any of this. We can do it all in our own home. And it has been such a an important part in in the process but i do apologize that we weren't able to bring you all the footage for this and it really is the only part of the footage that we we weren't able to capture i think realistically in terms of the winter we weren't able to sh bring you guys we weren't able to bring you guys the pipes that froze that we had to deal with um which i'm sure a lot of you expected to happen anyway because it did happen. Our pipes did freeze and, and we did struggle with that through the winter. Um, there'll be a few other bits through the winter, but from March onwards, we have all footage. So everything's been recorded of all the stuff we've done from March onwards. But we did lose, I would say we lost a bit of footage from mid-January to, to March. And unfortunately, it's unrecoverable and very saddened by it. But hey... Look, next episode, more stuff coming up. Next episode, we've got so much more stuff coming up, you know, uh, and a lot has happened from March up until the date that we're at now. So still be excited. The bathroom's not the only thing on the whole property that we're going to be doing. So, but yeah, you know, guide, guide really, but hey, we've got a bathroom, guys, and that's the main thing, right? Next time on From Bournemouth to Bulgaria, Living your dream. Um, so basically, you put the fork in, pull it out, and pick it, like, make it all, I don't know, like, separate. <laughs> Look at all of them. Wow. Actually, I think I found a problem. That might have been the bang as well. Half the garage has fallen down. She's out here to help me decide where it's going to go. So come with me. Build it here. And then anything that you get from the garden, she's on the doing garden, you take there. Not where I'm going to walk whimsically through my plum tree. When are you walking whimsically? I've got a fancy. And they're everywhere. How was your first day going, mate? Oh, <laughs> We're working on arguably the worst part of the uh, the entire... Well, I'd say it's the entire bloody land, to be honest. The entire part of the land. <laughs>